Guys, we just pulled up to this covered bridge up here near north of Centralia, uh, closer to Holiday, Missouri. We're just coming to, to check this thing out. They would build these to protect those old trusses. You see those are wooden trusses underneath. So these were built to protect all that. Back in the day, these things would only last about 20 years when they had a bridge built out of all the wood. And so they would build these cupboards to put them over top. And whenever you had it over the top, it would last uh, at least almost up to 100. Yeah. Oh, tell us a little more. Okay. If y'all never been to one of these bridges before, this stuff is really cool. Covered bridge in the state. It was built in 1858. So what you're looking at over here, guys, I'm going to get this video rolling. Um, Theodore Burr in 1817 patented that that arch look that we had in there and sure enough uh joseph elliott he went ahead and uh, did the union covered bridge that we're looking at over here in, in the double arch he did use two arches so they call it the double burr arch guys pretty cool okay. if y'all never been to one of these bridges before this stuff is really cool and this is the salt. Yeah, Go ahead and tell us from. Yeah. I'm not sure which branch of the salt river. There's three branches. And it'll feed into uh, Mark Twain Lake, guys. Yeah. This is part of that salt river. Man, this is neat, right? This is all done by hand, guys. There's a little bit of wood space in here. Almost drop out. <laughs> Oh, how pretty. Yeah. Yeah. Still got some colors going, too. Wow. So they have... This is a designated state historical marker, guys. So y'all are all welcome to come out here and check this place out. A little noise on this side. I'm gonna take the picture from this other angle, right? Okay. Alright, guys. Here's the before the restoration. That's how it looked when they first found it. And then here's the afterwards. And then here's a picture of during the restoration. So restoration was in 67, you can see, yeah. guys, clearly. Go ahead, Ron. Yeah. This was what it looked like inside of it. Ooh. Before it was pretty bad. And there's that double arch that we were looking at. I talked about earlier. Joseph uh, used two arches instead of one. So double burr arch. So Union Covered Bridge is the only surviving example in Missouri of a covered bridge with burr arch. With the burr arch, oh. guys. So that's what's unique. The bridge is 120 feet long, 17.6 inches wide. And it's the entrance is 12 feet high. Just enough to admit a wagon load of hay. Union Covered Bridge completed in 1871, guys. So we're looking at a big, big piece of history there. 1871. The history of covered bridges in America, guys. That's sweet. That's sweet. When you were wondering about other, it shows a picture of other bridges. is come to that little post office and there's a railroad right there and you hang a ride on that railroad and uh, 
We're right after the tracks. You just cross the tracks and hang. First road to your right. Come down about a quarter of a mile is your parking spot here. Just get out here and come see this. Uh, just in here in the north. Is this north central Missouri? Yeah, this is central. Missouri. Central Missouri. Um, following the trail, guys. We'll just see where it leads. Getting further down the trail here, guys. I think we've been about a half a half mile, maybe. Maybe a quarter of a mile. Somewhere in that range. But we do see our first set of rock formations over here to the left. Nice area. Looks like an old spring. Maybe a little seep spring right here, guys. This is where our trail ends, Ryan? No, not quite, not quite. Okay, right, guys, you see there's a rock formation here to the left. And then we're going to continue to go right down where the trail's at. And just see what else we can find over here on the right side. Okay. Yeah, there's some moisture up in there. This side. There may be. Okay, Ron. Okay, you. You know where we're going. Ron's got his farming jacket on today. Normally he's got a blue jacket on. This is different. Yeah. Area, I guess. Interesting, but I think that's water. Although I'm not sure about that. That looks <laughs> like a seed almost, doesn't it, man? Yeah, it sure does. <laughs> it, looks, it really does look like a seed. Uh, some of this farms are here. It's very pretty country up here, guys. Okay, we're looking for a thunderbird. Oh, guys, look what we have found here. A bow. Oh, there's some white sand over here. White sand. All the water comes out of this channel right here. You see how it dumps into this hole? Right here at the bottom. Sure this is, uh, yeah. Sandstone goes, look at this. It looks like it'd be like a pile of sand. I said, like, hey man, I'm gonna play with the sand right quick, Ron. I come over here, <laughs> it was hard as a rock, guys. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wow. I bet there's an arrow hit it washes up in here on occasions. Look at that. I got to walk over here and see what Ron's discovered. Pretty right here. Let's climb back over there. Look at this, guys. See where that mud layer come off the top? Guys, we're in the Fern Valley. Yeah, up and down on the mountains, guys. The the ground below me is soft. Water. Well, look at this final. Look at this. 
just to hang out, man. I'm gonna let you go in front of me, Ron. Look, 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 look. Scratch mark there. Looks like a turtle over there. That big rock. It's a natural, I know it's natural, it's not man-made. That looks like a serpent, guys, that's funny. We saw the serpent of oil yesterday. Y'all ever been in one of these? This one don't go too far. I was looking for some uh, arrowhead. You don't see nothing wrong? What about over here? Hang on. What's this? You see the big carving? It's right here. Oh, it's a fish. Oh, yeah. oh bro. This is it. This is it. Yes, that is a fish. I can see the eye and see the tail. So we found one. We may not find the Thunderbird. There's another one right behind it, though, too. Yeah. So, something here. Yeah. Hey, there's a... Oh, uh, yeah. Something over here now. This, What's that right above There's your a cross head? right here. What's that right above your head? Right here. Oh. Huh. Well, you did find... Hey. Where? Right here. Oh, okay. I was looking about. Yeah, I see that. Yes. Oh, hell, a cave, brother. I didn't go down. down. Look in there. Hey. Hey. Wow. No telling what's underneath that ledge, Ron. It's just like ours. See that small ledge, guys? Ooh, I wish I had a torch. If I had a torch 2K, we'd be lighting it up. But you got, you got a picture with that. Yeah. Here's the eye. Here's a, here's a back gill. Okay. That makes the head. Here's the body. This. Here's fins. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here's the tail. Wow, well, that's long. Yeah. Wow. That's, that, that is, without a doubt, petroglyph. Yeah, that one is. Hey, Ron, we're over here near the Petroglyph National, a rocky area, right? Rocky National. Natural. <laughs> Rocky natural area. We, we need to get, we need to. But right quick, uh, hey, do you know where, how to get out of here? No. <laughs> Guys, <laughs> not, we're serious. Uh, we kind of just come up and over some hills and uh, we're going to find our way back, but it might be a minute, but it's a beautiful day. All right, guys. We, uh, we kind of got lost here. We're not in the forest anymore. Uh, we, we went the wrong way somehow, but we just. I don't know how, but either way, we're a long walk in and we'll find your way.